This is Focus TV, straight to the point. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Pastor James, and I welcome you to this morning devotion. As we are going to take on the word of God, today the blessings of the Lord shall come upon you in Jesus' name. I come all the way from Tika, and the ministry is called Sound of Abundance Church Tika. We are in Tika town at a building called Josan Plaza near main Matai supermarket. If you know Matai supermarket, you're near our sanctuary, and the Lord will bless you in a mighty way as you become part of us. I want us to pray and believe God for a special thing that he has laid in my heart. And this morning before you go to work, I want us to pray for some specific things, that God will go ahead of you releasing blessing, breakthrough, and your expectations shall come forth in your life in Jesus' mighty name. So today I want us to begin a series that will be working with the whole of this week. So the moment I begin this uh, session with you, kindly keep in touch every morning as we charge in prayer together. As we go out, the God of hosts shall be with us. So I want us to begin with a topic that I tag, accessing open doors. Because in the morning, what we are going to do as we are going out of our homes, we are going to believe God that something good will await for us as we go forth. And one thing that we in this life we need is what we call open doors. And open doors is an, a place of transition. When you are talking about accessing open doors, we are, we are simply talking about a transition of something. You entering something new, ex experiencing something new, entering new ventures, experiencing new opportunities. Those are open doors. And today I want us to believe God for divine grace that open doors shall come upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So just warm, uh, sit, sit warmly at home, open your spirit as we are going to dig up this word and the Lord of us will bless us together in Jesus' name. So I want us to take up the scriptures of today. We have two main scriptures and uh, by the grace of God, we'll be having those scriptures on the airing. And I want us to go to the word of God in Isaiah 22, verse 22. I want us to read this scripture together and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. The Bible says in Isaiah 22, verse 22, it says, the key of the house of David, I will lay on his shoulder. So he, has, so he shall open and no one shall shut, and he shall shut and no one shall open. The Bible simply says in this scripture that God has given us a certain key in life. He's calling it the key of David. And he says, whatever we shall open, that no man shall shut. Or whatever we shut, that nothing shall open. The scripture is simply telling us that there are some doors that you need to open. And there are some doors you need to shut as a child of God. And I will go, be going through deep in these scriptures to show you the doors that God desires you to open and also some doors that you need to close in your life because there are some doors God desires to close in our lives. There are some ungodly doors. There are some, God, there, there are some doors that in your life God needs to shut that down. And it is because of your progress. It is because of your goodness. It is because of your tomorrow, because of your future. That is why God needs to close those doors. The Bible simply says, and he has given unto our shoulders the keys that belongs to David, that every door we open, that no man shall shut. The second scripture I want us to open up today is in Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And the Bible says, And to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, Philadelphia write, These things says he who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, he, he who opens and no one shuts, and shuts and no one opens. Let me just speak some few things in this scripture. It says, and the unto the angel of the church of Philadelphia. Number one, he says, this thing says who is holy and who is true. He says, he who has given us the keys, who has the keys of who? David. Remember Isaiah 22, verse 22. He's talking about the same thing, the key. What is the key for? He who opens and no one shuts. And he who shuts and no one opens. Let's go to verse 8. The Bible says, I know your works. See, I have set before you an open door. 
Remember, it, we are talking about a certain key, which is a certain door. The Bible says, I know your works. See, I have set an open door before you that no one can shut. I want you to, to look at this like the uh, picture it like this. God uh, has orchestrated doors in the heavens that as you're waking up every morning, you need to enter those doors. As you're going out of your place of, 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 of family, of your place of residence, as you're going to labor as a man, as a woman, God already has opened a certain door for you. He says he knows our strength, he knows our, our efforts, thereby he has given us an open door. He has opened a door that no man can shut. And today I want us to pray that you shall experience an open door in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to believe together that the Lord of hosts shall visit you with an open door that will remain open permanently in your life in Jesus' mighty name. This is what I tell people that everything in life is a door. Everything today we see in life, we touch with our hands, is doors. When you're talking about marriage, people say marital doors. When people talk about money, we talk about financial doors. When people talk about uh, in, uh, going abroad, we talk about international doors. When people talk about business, we call them business doors. So in everything in life, it is a door. So you have a certain key that needs to unlock a certain door. And today we are going to believe together whatever you have in your heart, Whatever you desire in your spirit to open for you, it shall come speedily over your life in Jesus' mighty name. And I want us to pray today, that door that you believe in God for, it shall speedily open up in Jesus' mighty name. I say like this, that doors have a way of including people and excluding people. That is why I want us to pray today. Because a door can include a certain group of people and exclude a certain people of people. L let us picture it on this note. If you go for an interview, at the end of that interview, that door will include some people and exclude some people. So you need to understand this. Any door in life can exclude. Even in relationships, where you get to, to meet people and relate with them, you have people that will include you, meaning they will embrace you, meaning they will accept you, and the others, they will reject you. It means in life, the doors we experience in life, they either ex exclude you or include you. I want to pray today that every desired door in your life shall include you in Jesus' mighty name. As you go out today, you shall be charged with the Spirit of God that you shall encounter new doors in your life. You shall encounter doors that will give you joy in Jesus' mighty name. And then let me take this on, on this point that doors can open and also doors can close. Let me take on this. Doors can simply open for you and also doors can close. When somebody has been working somewhere and they have been given a letter of termination, it simply shows you that that door has closed for them. That is why I'm talking about open doors. It is in our practical lifestyle. It is in our day-to-day -day lifestyle. So when you're talking about doors, doors can open and doors can shut. So the way you go out today, I'm believing God that you will encounter open doors in your way in Jesus' mighty name. I want us to look at the Bible in Isaiah 60 verse 11. The Bible says, and thy gates shall continually be open day and night. So some, there are some doors and some gates that should be open every day for your life. Why? Because that scripture says for men. There are men that need to access your life. There are men that need to access your business. There are men that need to access your destiny. And the only way they access your destiny is when your doors are open. Is when your gates are open wide. So I want to pray for you that every gate that is closed for you shall be open in the name of Jesus Christ. That every door you desire today may be a financial door a business door, a family door, a health door, any kind of door, that to believe today that the Lord of hosts shall release it speedily in Jesus' mighty name. This is the month of June, and June has carried his babies of wonders. And I want us to believe, God, those breakthroughs that have been released from heaven shall come upon you in Jesus' mighty name. 
And this is the wonderful part about life. Life is all about seasons, and we are in a new season. We are almost in the middle of this year. Half of the year has come to an end. Some of us, since January, you have not experienced any breakthrough. But I'm here to encourage you. Time has not come to an end. It is not over until Jehovah says it's over. So this is a new season that has launched this year. Why we are in the middle of 2019. And whatever you have not been able to achieve from January, but the grace of the Almighty God shall come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want you to, to, to encourage you, brethren, my brothers and my sister, that in this time and season, the Lord shall quicken your breakthroughs. He shall quicken your doors to open in Jesus' mighty name. I just want to speak to you, my believer, uh, my, my, my viewers, wherever you are in, the, in this nation, that the Lord of force is able and enough to do what you have, you, have, you have desired since January. is able to do more than enough what your heart desires. The Bible says in Ephesians 3 verse 20 that unto him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, high above what we think or imagine, according to his power that is within us. So God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly over your life in Jesus' mighty name. And in this season, there shall be release of blessings. There shall be release of breakthrough. There shall be release of every door that you desire in Jesus' mighty name. So I want to tell you this, brethren, that God opened doors in different ways. And I want to go there and I will dig up on some few ways that God opens doors for men. Are we together? So one of the ways that God opens doors is by when he himself opens the door. There are doors that he, God, God himself, in his throne room of, 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 of heaven, in his dwelling place above the heavens, he opens doors for men. There are doors that God himself comes down to visit the people. I want to give you a practical example in the Bible. In Acts chapter 16, the Bible says in verse 25, the, uh, Paul and Silas were apprehended and they were put in the prison bars. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16 verse 26 that when they were singing and praising God, they were, there was a shaking of the foundation of the prison bars. The prison shook from its foundation. And the Bible says the chains in their hands broke loose and the bars of iron opened wide. So there is a way God can visit a, some, a someone without including angels, without including anyone. There is a time God remembers a man and he can come swiftly without sending anyone. So God has a way of opening doors himself. So in Acts 16 verse 25 is a practical example of God's power, the charge to open doors for somebody. Paul and Silas were in the prison. They began to sing praises. They began to pray. As they were praying, God himself in his power came forth and shook the prison gates. He came and shook the foundation of the prisons. And look at the evidence. The chains in their hands were loosed. Look at what happened to the doors. The doors of iron open wide. So today I want to pray for you, our viewers, that the Lord of hosts shall come swiftly in your life to open immense doors in Jesus' mighty name. In everywhere you are believing, go for an open door. In your business, in your family, in any area you are believing, God for a door, there shall be an open door in Jesus' mighty name. Just be encouraged. The Lord of hosts in this new half season of this year shall release break blessings, breakthrough, and release of grace in Jesus' mighty name. And these prayers, we have been doing them in church. So if you are in Thika, if you are around Thika Town, kindly visit us in our church in Thika Town. And the church is called Sound of Abundance Church Thika. We have been doing these prayers every Sunday in the morning prayers. We are handling such things. Why? Because you need to have an open heaven. You need to have open doors. You need to get in the place of prayer to encounter open doors. God visited Paul and Silas because the Bible says in Acts 16 verse 25, they were 
are praying and singing hymns to the Lord. So there's a place of prayer, there's a place of praise, and that is found in the presence of God. So if you're in Tika, the surroundings of Tika, Juja, Ruiru Town, kindly uh, visit us, and the Lord will bless you in a mighty way in Jesus' awesome name. And uh, uh, my name is Pastor James, and I want to specifically pray for you, believing God that he will open doors for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So if you're asking man of God, how do we find you? How do we locate you? If you have your prayer points, I'll be, I'll be praying for you. If you have a prayer request that you have, kindly, there's a number there, 0726 036 218. There's a number down there on our screen, 0726 036 218. Send your prayer request there. Call me on the line. I will pray with you, believing God that the door you desire shall open unto you in Jesus' mighty name. So, our viewers, before we enter the second session, I want us to enter deeper into the second point. I want us to handle who else opened doors. The second category of things that, uh, that, that, that God uses to open doors are the angels. And we see the scriptures in Acts chapter 5 from verse 19. Paul was, uh, Peter was apprehended and put in prison. Peter was taken up and put in prison. The Bible says in Acts chapter 5 verse 19 that the angel came and took Peter out of the prison bars. The angel came and got hold of Peter until outside the prison bars. So God can use angels to minister to us. The Bible says, do not be hesitant of entertaining visitors, for some have been angels. The same way Abraham entertained visitors, and one of the visitors was God himself. So you need to understand this, that God can use any visitor in your life, like me, Pastor James, some of you, you are seeing me for today. God can use me as a vessel of honor to open a door for you. So today, God tells us that the angels that he uses in heaven, and in this Earth are doors that releases open doors. And I want to pray for you that God shall release open doors unto you in Jesus' mighty name. I want to go, I want us to go for a break for a few minutes and then we are going to come back. The numbers that are there, send your SMS. Kindly call us on the line. It is 0726-036-218. We will pray with you, believing God for supernatural grace in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Pastor James. Call me and I'll pray with you in Jesus' mighty name. Let us go for a short break in Jesus' name.